Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What is linked service in Azure Data Factory? So linked service is a connection string because we need to read the data from different sources or write the data to different destinations. So linked service is a connection string to data, data store or data source. Now let me show you uh, how you can explain a little more details uh, when it comes to the what is linked service. So, so you can tell the people, hey, linked service has to be created when you need to read the data from a blob storage or from uh, Azure SQL DB or from Oracle or uh, from uh, other uh, uh, sources. Um, same way the linked service will be used to write the data or that connection string will be used to connect to your destination data sources. Um, and uh, again, it can be Azure Blob Storage or it can be a DLS2 or Azure SQL DB or Oracle or SAP. So there could be so many different uh, destinations uh, uh, we can access uh, when we create the connection uh, or linked service uh, in Azure Data Factory. Now, uh, you can a uh, little bit uh, more detailed in this part you can say you will go to manage and here in the manager you will see link service and you will click new to create your link service and then you are going to see all different sort of uh, data source stores um, such as Azure Blob Storage, Amazon S3, uh, Amazon RDS and uh, whatnot. So let's say you will uh, go and select Azure Blob Storage here and now you have to provide uh, this information. Um, so in pretty much all those uh, uh, linked services that you are going to create, this information uh, you will be providing. Uh, so first of all, uh, you will be providing uh, your integration runtime. Uh, so which uh, integration runtime will be used uh, to connect to data, data stores. So this can be your uh, Azure IR, this can be your self-hosted IR, this can be your, uh, your uh, SSIS IR. So you have to select uh, one of them. Uh, in our case, uh, we have uh, selected auto-resolve integration runtime. Uh, now, what other things you can do in the linked service? Uh, in the linked services, always uh, I ask you about authentication. Uh, so in our case, uh, as uh, we are uh, trying to connect to the Azure Blob Storage, it is asking us, uh, you can use account key, you can SAS URI, service principal, system managed entity, or user managed entity. These are different uh, methods available to connect to the uh, uh, Azure Blob Storage. Uh, and uh, what uh, else it will ask you, it will always ask you, hey, what subscription you want to use, and then it asks you the storage account. Uh, so this is uh, the link service uh, when we are creating uh, to the blob storage. Uh, let's cancel this out uh, and uh, let's see on a little different uh, link service, uh, maybe Azure SQL DB. Now Azure SQL DB here and uh, you first uh, select the data store and then uh, again uh, we have to provide uh, which integration runtime we need to use and then uh, we have to provide uh, the subscription and then uh, after subscription uh, you'll provide uh, the server name and then you provide the database name and then you will provide the authentication method. So you notice here in the each of the linked services, uh, these are the components so you have to provide uh, first of all where you want to make the connection. So and second part how you would like to authenticate against that uh, data source. So, so th this uh, can also use Azure Key Vault if you have st stored your password in the Azure Key Vault. So I will uh, suggest uh, just keep this way a link service is a connection string that we can we use to connect to different sources and destinations uh, in the Azure Data Data factory to create that we need a uh, uh, one of the integration runtime that will be used to connect to that so uh, data store and then uh, we have to provide uh, the basic information for a connection string such as uh, the server name or blob storage uh, path and uh, then uh, what uh, authentication method we use uh, to access the data from that uh, uh, data source. So that would be uh, it for link service. Uh, I hope uh, uh, you learn uh, something out of here. One more thing I want to add that uh, also as uh, the data uh, see right here we have a uh, parameters. Uh, so you can make your link service as parameters if uh, you are thinking uh, to change your database. Uh, so your server name and all that. So link service can be parameterized as well if your connection string maybe later on will be changed or you want to loop through some uh, you know different databases and all that and use the same link service you can use make it parameterized. I hope this video will be helpful. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.